Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Charlie, and this is my journey to 1,000 articles published on my authority site, number two. Uh, if you want to see the journey on my first authority site, be sure to check out the first video on my channel. Uh, going forward, I'll be also covering that site and providing monthly updates as uh, things become important to talk about. But authority site number two, taking everything I learned from building my first passive income website and applying it to my second site, and the goal is to publish 1,000 articles. This is the first update. Uh, expect many updates in the next couple of months, and this should be an exciting journey. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the goal, like I mentioned, is to publish 1,000 articles in 2021. Should achieve that goal at the current rate I'm publishing by August 2021. And we'll talk about what I've published so far and what's still ahead, but the rate's been going really well. Um, Obviously, got to be cognizant of spending money and how much we're outsourcing, but the plan is to primarily monetize with ads. So if my site only has 10,000 views or less, I can go with something like Ezoic, uh, Mediavine when I approach 50,000 views, and Ad Thrive when I get to 100,000 views. Now, the goal of this site is to publish 1,000 articles of informational content, answering questions on the internet within my niche, providing uh, how-to guides, um, anything that I really can try and harvest some organic search traffic within my niche, I'm probably going to go after. Um, if I can put Amazon affiliates in there to collect some extra commissions where it makes sense, that will be the goal later on. But right now, the goal is to publish quality content, uh, rank naturally on Google, and just gain organic search traffic. Take that search traffic and monetize it with a premium ad network. So the current status, I published my first article on December 5th, uh, which was just about six weeks ago. So total articles published on the website as of today is 172. That's roughly 29 articles published a week. I'm currently using seven writers. Six of them are hired from Upwork. Typically my process when hiring a writer on Upwork is I give them a sample article and it's usually a topic that all writers will have in terms of the formatting but I just change the, the specific keyword. So it'll be the same type of layout, same format, different keyword, and I see how the writer does. Um, if I feel like the writer could be a good fit, there's only some minor edits, I'll go for them and I'll send them another article and have them do like a second piece. Usually what I wanna see is structure and formatting. Obviously content is important, research is important, but I wanna make sure they can follow instructions and produce what I want on my site. Um, a lot of these articles are informational, like I mentioned, so they need to answer a question or satisfy a search query. And if I feel like the writer doesn't get a grasp on that, it's not worth wasting my time um, trying to train that writer when there's so many to pick from. Usually I put up a job posting on Upwork. I get a roughly 50 to 55 applications within you know, 24 to 48 hours. And I usually wind up trying about half of those writers. And from all those applications, I've simplified it down to just about six that I work with. Um, everyone's pretty much around the $15 to $25 range. I kind of lean more towards the $20 writers in terms of quality and the level of their work. Um, I do have a lot of writers that come back to me and say, you know, that rate's too low. I need to charge, let's say $25 or $30 per thousand words. And pretty much what I tell them is, hey, I'm publishing a lot of content. You know, you're gonna have several hundred articles of work if you're willing to take it on. Um, you know, would you be interested in doing a $20 rate? happy to negotiate as we, you know, build our relationship. And a lot of them come back really excited to do it because they know they're guaranteed work, even if it's lower than their rate. So I'm getting some really quality writers at a really good price, which is great. Um, I'm getting a lot of this content back on a daily basis. They kind of send them as the articles are done. I don't wait till the whole order is complete. And I'm spending majority of my time editing those con pieces of content, publishing it on my website and doing keyword research. Now, a big part of publishing my content is finding images that are relevant to the article and making sure they look good and they're images that I can use. So I'm noticing as I'm getting into some of my keywords that have a little lower volume, there is a lack of free images in my space. So I decided to join depositphotos.com. It's a paid uh, stock image website where for, for $89, I get 150 credits a month and that refreshes every 30 days. The images are good. They're helping with my articles. There's some site, there's some articles I just couldn't find a picture for that made sense. And this is solving that problem. So it's saving me time. 
Obviously, I'm paying a decent chunk of money on a monthly basis, but I plan to just pay for the service probably for the next five or six months when my first thousand articles are up. And then from there, I can reevaluate or go to a smaller plan um, as I want to continue growing the site. And these are definitely high quality images. I'm very happy with them. They make my site look really good, which is which is great. I mean, obviously you want readers to come to your website, uh, think you're a trustworthy source based on just your content, but having good images does help with that. So I'm excited about that part of it. Uh, looking at keyword tracking. So I decided to join SERP Robot. I've never used them before from for my other sites, but serprobot.com, they give you a certain amount of keywords. I think it's 25 keywords for free that you can track. I decided to upgrade to a premium plan right away. A premium plan means you pay $5 a month for an extra robot. And what that robot does is it tracks roughly 300 keywords. So I took the first 170 something articles that I had and I import all those keywords on it. And then I, you can see it says 193. I took some of the articles that I'm gonna be publishing in the next couple of days and already threw those keywords on here. So I can start tracking them as soon as they get indexed. And SERP Robot's been really great. And this is just one of the charts that they show, as well as a breakdown for each one of the keywords that you're searching. But you can see I've already had 30 articles improve in the last 24 hours. I only have one in the top 10, none in the top three, and nine have jumped into the top 30. Um, 31 of the 193 keywords I inputted in here are ranking in the top 100, which is great. My site's six weeks old and I already have articles being indexed and being found. Average position's nothing to get excited about, but I'm gonna to continue to hopefully see that climb as these articles start to age, which is great. I noticed a few keywords right off the bat, after just two or three weeks, they jumped to position like 28. They kind of come from 28 to 80 to out of the SERPs and then back in. So it's just a lot of keyword dancing right now. I'm in the Google sandbox. That process will take roughly five to six months to get out of it, but you can't really get worried about it. Don't focus too much on the numbers. Having the keyword tracking is more for me in the longer term to see as my site grows, how it's impacted by updates and changes in seasonality, if there is such. But primarily what I wanna see here on SERP Robot is growth, articles index, that top 10, top, top 100 and top 30 starts to really take off the next couple of weeks or months. And then we slowly push towards top three and top 10, um, which is my goal. Uh, next, this is just Google Search Console. So obviously my first article is published on December 5th. So that's what this time period is gonna show here. Not really getting too many clicks, but impressions are definitely starting to rise. Um, kind of flattened out the past couple of days, which doesn't really mean anything. Uh, sites new, sites indexing new articles and these impressions are gonna go up really fast, which gets exciting. I saw it on my first site. Um, I'm kind of at that period where I'm about a month away from the impressions really exploding and getting into like the thousands per day. So we'll continue to monitor that. I'm using Google Search Console to index articles, and this will be another great platform to monitor as my site uh, grows. Another thing I like to look at is Ahrefs. Um, it's just interesting to see what keywords they pick up for what I'm ranking. They say I'm ranking for 149 keywords already, um, 2.9 organic traffic. That's not thousand, that's actually 2.9 visits. So obviously nothing important there. Um, it's interesting, I haven't tried to build any backlinks, but backlinks are getting picked up already, which is cool. Um, these are usually just some really small spammy websites that kind of pick up articles being published, but good stuff to see. Domain authorities is zero, that's why I didn't even bother posting it. I don't have a plan to build backlinks in the short term. I think as my site ages and content starts to get up, I'll revisit it. But I thought about this earlier, I think it just makes more sense to invest money um, on content versus backlinks. And this was mentioned on a video that I did a little bit earlier, but spend the thousand dollars on buying content rather than buying backlinks, especially when you're a new website. Um, you could justify building backlinks and doing some marketing efforts as your site's a little more aged, a little more established, it needs to pick up credibility, authority, and trust. But right now, get the content, grow the item, grow the asset, that should be your key. And I also provide an image for SEMrush. This is showing keywords ranking. And then the chart I like on the bottom here is showing new keywords versus lost keywords. So obviously I'm gonna lose keywords as you know articles jump in and out of the SERPs, uh, doesn't really mean much anything, but the good thing is keywords are starting to climb. I'm only gonna have two months of information here because the site was starting in December. You see the big jump up for January. Things are looking good, not too much to take out of it, 
Majority of the articles are ranked between 51 to 100. There's also some showing up between 21 and 50 in terms of ranking position. All right, so final thoughts. As I mentioned earlier, all articles being indexed to Google Search Console. Impressions are rising, articles moving out of the SERPs. I currently have 50 articles outsourced to writers, so I'm always gonna have articles outsourced. Um, as soon as a writer finishes their block of eight to 10 articles, I get their next order ready for them. Um, and keyword research is done for the next 150 articles. I'm really trying to find some terms that I think if we write it and we index it within a few days, few weeks, it should kind of be found on the first couple of pages just because it's a very underserved topic. Um, I find it is really important to go after the low competition keywords that not a lot of websites have covered. So you can rank right off the bat. And then as your site gains authority and trust, you can go after some more competitive keywords. Um, I think I'm gonna publish another video that just discusses what keywords I'm going after and maybe share with all of you my keyword uh, volume. I think that'd be really helpful to see what type of keywords um, going after in terms of how many searches per month and what type of response I'm getting from that. I've gone after keywords as low as zero searches a month and keywords as high as 4,000 searches a month. It really depends on what the competition looks like in the SERPs. So I don't try and get too caught up in just the numbers of you know, what Ahrefs or Uber suggests or ICM Rush says is the monthly search volume. I make sure I you know, am Googling that phrase to see what is actually out there, what is being served to the user. Um, and then finally, just publish, publish, publish. Every day I'm sitting down publishing anywhere from you know, two to 20 articles, depending on how much I get back, um, uploading those images, indexing that content. I'm reviewing the content, I'm editing the content briefly, but I don't really spend more than 10 to 15 minutes on an article. It's just a waste of time, right? I've hired writers that I trust. I read their first couple articles to really you know, get comfortable with them. But more importantly, I'm trying to make sure the format is good, right? Like if they're writing for a topic, I wanna to make sure that things that need to be bolded that stand out to the reader are bolded, whether it's answering the question or throwing them to another direction. I'm slowly starting to interlink articles if it's relevant. I'm not too worried about that yet. As my site grows and articles are published, it'll be easier to kind of interlink articles that are related. Um, but I am doing that in a smaller role right now, but it's not like I'm doing it to every article. Some articles are being orphaned. Um, and I don't really think that will hinder growth early on, but it's just something to document and be aware of. Um, make sure you subscribe. This journey is gonna be really exciting. I don't plan to stop it at a thousand articles. This site's gonna grow into a very large mega website the next couple of months into the end of the year. Let's see how these keywords rank. Let's continue to track it. And thanks for following along.